Engineers, Advanced Linear Devices has created a revolutionizing approach to efficiently and automatically balancing supercapacitors connected in a series stack of two or more. There is a better way of controlling leakage current using an SAB MOSFET. It automatically balances the stack without any power, and in most cases, it stops the current from leaking, which is most likely the reason your supercapacitor continues to fail. Our method is a low voltage, low current solution that will extend the life and reliability of any application that requires supercapacitors. ALD's method works on all supercapacitors, even caps with higher than 1000 farads, because the current doesn't travel through the MOSFET. SAB MOSFETs balance supercapacitors with less leakage current in a simple solution that is scalable and stackable and adjusts for changing temperature and other variable conditions. You can apply it to 5 to 400 volt systems in commercial high energy storage and energy harvesting applications that require high voltage, high current, and minimal power dissipation. In a basic two stack circuit, a dual SAB MOSFET is placed across two supercapacitors. The SAB MOSFET is connected across C1, so the SAB MOSFET input is equal to the supercapacitor's voltage. Leakage current is going through each MOSFET, but you're unable to determine which supercapacitor has higher leakage. An SAB MOSFET across both supercapacitors not only senses the supercapacitor leakage current, but it automatically adjusts the leakage current of the MOSFET acting as a parallel resistor element to maintain equal voltage drops across both capacitors. The SAB MOSFET balancing solution contributes virtually no additional current drain and automatically adjusts for temperature, time, and other environmental changes that may contribute to out-of-balance conditions. In an out-of-balance condition, the dual SAB MOSFET functions to balance the leakage currents in the stack. For example, if IC1 is greater than IC2, then MOSFET M1 is turned off and MOSFET M2 becomes the active circuit element to balance C1, the supercapacitor with the greatest leakage. Without I out 2, V out can keep rising until it destroys C2 with overvoltage. Another way to view the functional mechanism is that each SAB MOSFET automatically senses the voltage across it and turns itself off or on exponentially, based upon its rated design threshold voltage. This auto balancing scheme is scalable and stackable, extending to any number of supercapacitors connected in a series without limitations on the number of cells. The exact opposite takes place when IC2 is greater than IC1, when M2 is turned off and M1 is turned on to prevent C1 from overvoltage and eventual destruction. When the compensating SAB MOSFET turns itself off, the total leakage current is only equal to the higher of the two, contributed by the supercapacitors that have the highest leakage current in the stack. SAB MOSFETs connected across these supercapacitors exhibit complementary opposing current levels resulting in little or no additional leakage currents other than from the supercapacitor themselves. So what do we know? SAB MOSFETs automatically balance supercapacitors. They lower additional leakage currents to near zero levels. They provide a simple and yet elegant solution that is scalable and stackable to any number of supercapacitors. It's a completely automatic process that adjusts for changing conditions and leakage currents and saves board space by reducing the component count. For more information on how advanced linear devices, auto-balancing MOSFET arrays can control and balance over-voltage supercapacitor networks, visit aldinc.com.